Another beautiful spring day across our region and up at Old Hilltop, picture perfect conditions. We'd like weather like this on Preakness Saturday. It's not going to be quite as nice, but not terrible, I don't think. Right now, up at Pimlico, it's sunny and temperature checking in around 79 degrees with a light southwesterly breeze. Uh, around the region at this hour, temperatures are, are very comfortable. In fact, running in the mid 70s to near 80 degrees from the eastern shore into Baltimore and west toward Catonsville and Columbia, right up around the 80 degree mark. The early outlook for our Preakness forecast is for a cloudy day and winds coming out of the east that generally produces some cooler temperatures. The normal high on the 20th of May is 75, and I think we're going to be running in the upper 60s and low 70s for most of the afternoon. So it's, it's fairly comfortable and actually not bad when you pick up some cloud cover. Uh, hopefully we can hold off all the precipitation on either side of Preakness Saturday, and it looks right now like that will be the, the trend, just kind of a cloudy, cool day. But until that gets here, we're talking about a summertime warm-up. For the next couple of days, temperatures will be soaring. We're starting to see some 80s now on the board across our region from BWI Marshall back to Frederick and into Hancock and Hagerstown and the warmer air is going to keep coming in. A couple clouds and even a sprinkle tracking down through the Poconos of Pennsylvania, but that's falling apart and high pressure now that stretches off the Carolina coast down to the Gulf Coast. This is going to be the dominant feature for the next two days as it will be pumping in the hot and eventually more humid air coming right out of the Gulf of Mexico. So expect it to feel like summertime for Wednesday and Thursday. Friday, this front to our west. We'll try to make a run into our region. That'll trigger a few showers and storms and eventually cool things off for Preakness Saturday. But tomorrow, sunny skies. There might be a couple of isolated little showers up in the mountains, maybe as close as the Catoctans, but especially in western Maryland. During the heat of the afternoon tomorrow, a couple of those isolated showers could develop. Same thing on Thursday, primarily over the mountains to our west or up into central Pennsylvania. Generally dry and hot around the Baltimore area for a couple of days. Then you see the front coming in from the north and west. Scattered showers and storms become a little more likely Friday afternoon into Friday evening. For this night, though, a clear, mild night, a light southerly breeze and uh, temperatures dropping to about 55 to 62 degrees. So a mild night tonight, which sets the stage for a big warm up tomorrow. 86 to 91. The normal is only 74, so we'll go well past that up into the low 90s in many areas. And again, uh, Frederick County points west, maybe an isolated brief little shower in the afternoon. Winds on the bay out of the south, waves around a foot, only one high tide during the day at Fort McHenry. That's at 1144. Mountain forecast going to get warmer out there as well. Upper 70s to near 80 for both Wednesday and Thursday. That 20% chance of a storm in the mountains on Thursday. 90 on the shore tomorrow, 89 or 90 again on Thursday, just depending on how much cloud cover we have. And at Ocean City, where it'll be a little bit cooler, the surf temperature is only running around 60 degrees, so that keeps the air temperature a few degrees cooler right on the beach. But if you move inland, say to Salisbury, they're probably going to get closer to the 90 degree mark. Seven day forecast then for the Baltimore area, about 90 for Wednesday, Thursday. Sunny to partly cloudy skies. Those storms on Friday, mainly late afternoon and evening, about 87 degrees. And then the winds shift to the east, so it's a cloudy, cooler Preakness Saturday with a high of 71, 73 on Sunday, and another round of showers and thunderstorms coming in on Monday.